Uh, this is Mike Kasha, ITSC for Snyder Electric, and this is a video about the Snyder game show that we made for training reinforcement. Um, so first off, the game show has the ability to take score. The score can, you can see here on the computer, um, or you can see the score on the HMI panel. Basically, when you play the game, you have four teams or four contestants. Each contestant gets a push button, like this one here. The push buttons are color-coded white, red, blue, and yellow. And those buttons correspond to the score so that the contestant knows what their score is. Um, also, the stack light uh, with the four lights there, the four colors right here, are corresponding lights to the push buttons and the scoreboard as well. So the contestant knows uh, which button they have, what their score is, and you'll see in a second what the uh, stack tower does, stack light does. Um, also we have a game show control or game show console for the judge for the game show. Um, there's three operators basically. You have a selector switch that arms the game. Arming the game will cause the four lights to flash, meaning that if one of the contestants pushes their button, or let's say all four contestants are pushing their buttons at the same time, the uh, controller inside here will uh, decide who pushed the button first, and they will get 30 seconds thereabouts to answer the question. And if they answer the question right, the judge pushes green. If they get the question wrong, the judge pushes the button red. If it's right, they get an uptick of one point. If it's wrong, it deducts a point. So I'll give you a quick example. We've armed the game. Theoretically, we've already asked the question because we've armed the game. One of the contestants, let's say it's the contestant, the white team, pushes their button, the sound, the, the sound tower plays the uh, Jeopardy music that lets you know that you have so much time to answer the question. If you do a right answer, judge pushes green, and you get a green rotating beacon. If the answer is wrong, the judge will push the red button, and you'll get the wrong sound with the red rotating beacon. The score will either be shown on the HMI panel or the laptop. The idea is you will get the score on the laptop and there you can project the score up on a big TV like this one here or on a projector so that the entire room can see the score. Normally the questions um, Ideal scenario is that the questions can be presented on a second laptop with a PowerPoint where you advance the questions with the PowerPoint. And in that case, uh, it's ideal to have, say, two monitors so that you can see the, the score and the questions at the same time. It's not necessary, but uh, it, it is ideal because sometimes people have a hard time hearing the question. They're better off reading the question, um, but I think you get the point. The game show is made up of mostly, uh, like 99% Snyder components. The, uh, these are Snyder, this is a Snyder three hole push button station enclosure. Actually it's a five hole push button enclosure. Um, these are our selector switches and push buttons. Um, this enclosure is made by Snyder. This is a Thalassa brand. It's a polyester fiber enclosure with a window kit. Um, the green LED you see here is uh, something that we just uh, bought off of uh, Amazon and installed just to give it the kind of a dramatic Snyder look to it, but that's not a Snyder product, but everything else pretty much is. Um, the stack lights, the rotating beacons, the sound module are all Snyder products. The wireless, it utilizes the wireless bases in here. Um, it's our breaker. We have a surge device in here. We're using a Zelio PLC that's programmed in function block diagram. There is an ethernet port here that allows 
this HMI or the laptop to interrogate the controller to get the score because the, the Zelio PLC is what is uh, determining which push button or which contestant won the, the contest of hitting the button. And <clears throat> it's also providing the automation that turns the lights on and uh, plays the sound files in the, uh, in the stack light. So that concludes the uh, overview. Any questions, uh, don't hesitate to, to call, contact uh, Mike Kasha or Robert Burks. Thank you.